Hey guys, before I get to the video, I want to make sure you guys, hopefully, is everybody doing safe during, uh, during this um, pandemic. Um, it is a, this is something we, we not expected to really get serious of, though. So, but guys, hopefully, you guys are staying safe and make sure you just when you start washing your hands and uh, put some hand sanitizer on and everything. Um, that way, hopefully, this could blow over so quick. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's start getting to the video. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video on my channel today, though, guys. It has been a while since I did another video on my channel, but I'm back and doing it. And a better way to do it than have my predictions for WrestleMania 36. Man, I know this was just, I was supposed to do a little playlist of WrestleMania 36 throughout this entire week, but I've been really busy with work and everything, also with school, since now I kind of switched to an online format during the situation we're in. But though, guys, I'm trying to make some videos. I'll hopefully, I can get back on track throughout this entire time. But let's see what we can do. So, where do we? So now WrestleMania is a two night starting tonight, which I'm doing it fucking late. God damn it! It is gonna be two nights today and tomorrow. So uh, there's no certain what match is going on tonight, what the match is going on tomorrow. Um, but though, I'm gonna just be predicting every single match for you guys and um. To see, hopefully, how many I can get right. So, guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, pretty much, though, ladies and gentlemen, we have two pre-show matches that's going to be going on at WrestleMania. So, I'm going to take a guess. I think one's going to be tonight. The other one's going to be tomorrow. I'm not sure which one's going to be doing that. But I'm going to just go through them and this whole thing. Just I'm not, don't really give a shit about pre-shows. So, the first one we have is Drew Gug versus Cesaro. Like I said, this is still part of a rivalry with, um... With Gulak and Brian versus Cesaro, Nakamura, and Zayn. Um, I'm just going to go with Cesaro win this one. I mean, they're just not... Right now, they have not used Cesaro much in singles competition. Tag team is the only thing we see him being used in. You know he's done good. I'm not going to say he's a bad... Like, he's, he's not a bad tag team player, but I just think he needs to work in singles competition. He should be WWE Champion already. I think his 2014 run... That's when he should be WWE Champion, but they did not use him. But hopefully, though, I'm still going to go for Cesaro. Might as well get the win here. Um, next match we have is Liv Morgan versus Natalia. I'm not sure why. I think it'd be best that you could see Liv Morgan versus Ruby Riot. I think that would be the best thing. I mean, probably that, that match, that, that one, that would be more interesting to see than Natalia, to say the least. I mean, what the, now, what the fuck? So now you have five women's matches on here. That's insane. I mean, I'm not complaining, but you got that many. So, but I'm still gonna go for um. I'm still I'm gonna go for Liv Morgan winning this one. I think she needs she needs a she needs a win here, and hopefully she you know I'm gonna say that she she's gonna become a Raw Women's Champion in the near future. Mark my words, she will. So the first match we're gonna talk about is Otis versus Dolph Ziggler, who will have Mandy Rose in his corner. Possibly, because if you've seen the last episode of SmackDown, there was a little video package of a little promo. Some guy saying has, I don't know what, there's a little Arc Reactor logo, and it says Truth will be free. Spoiler alert, it's Mustafa Ali. That's amazing. <laughs> and reveals a clip saying, uh, with Sonya Deville, Sonya Deville, sorry, um, messing with Otis and Mandy Rose's date. As it's like, you know, Sonya sent a text to Otis, I think, and then Sonya deletes it, and then she sent Dolph Ziggler over, over to, uh, Mandy Rose. So, that's weird. So, that's kind of weird to see it. So, I think Mandy Rose could possibly be in Otis's corner, and then they're probably gonna have Sonya to be in Dolph Ziggler's corner. I have no idea how this is gonna work. I'm not sure if Fire Nazar is going to be broke up. There's no telling. There's absolutely no telling. But, I'm going to say this though. This is a, this is a, this has been the best storyline I've seen a little bit. Maybe an entertaining storyline to say at least. Okay. No doubt about it. Okay. I do enjoy it. But, I'm going to go with Otis getting the win here. Because, this is actually Dolph Ziggler's first singles match too. But, you know, I mean, I think this makes it more sense to have it. Have Otis win. Now the next match we got is the Kabuki Warriors versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. Uh, uh, this is kind of easy. I wouldn't say it's an easy one, but it could be. 
I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. I think Kabuki Warriors, yeah, I mean, they're a good team. They're, they held up, but they held, they held on the titles for a, a good bit now, to say the least. So, it's time for the reign to end. So, I'm going to go with Bliss and Nikki Cross to become the two-time women's tag team champions. Now, the next match we got is Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan. I want to say it's an easy one because it could be, but it's not. Because this is a good match to see here. We also see Sami Zayn finally hold his first... Um, how do you say his first single style on the main roster? But, I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan winning this match. I mean, I, some, I don't know. It could it could fall away around. I think Sami Zayn could retain his title. I think it happened. But I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan just winning it. It may be easy. I know it's weird, but that's all I can think about it. But So, I'm going to say Daniel Bryan becomes a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Now, pretty much the next match is probably one of the most exciting matches that I want to see on this card. Edge versus Randy Orton in a last man standings match. Now, at, we've seen Edge return at the Royal Rumble. Shockingly return after he retired nine years ago. It's like, I did not fucking think Edge would come back. I didn't. I did not think he would come back, and he did. Then Randy Orton just RKO'd Edge the next night. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Orton. This is, is it's like a tough situation to go for, but I'm going to go with Edge, though. I mean, this is a different case to look at. I mean, I don't know who to go for, to be honest, though. But, though, Edge will make more sense. I mean, you can't let him lose his first match since his return. No, it's not possible. So, I'll go for Edge winning. That's just it's like an easy answer. Next match we have is one of the most, one of two Random match. Well, I'll say one of three. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit later. We got Elias versus King Corbin. I don't know why this was made. Oh, I know. The only scene this match was made because of the host was uh, the host of WrestleMania, Rob Gronkowski. Just made the match at the Corbin. Interrupted Gronk. Elias interrupted them. Elias came down. And then Gronk just made the match. That's just stupid. I don't really care about this match. This isn't this is this is this is gonna be boring to me. I don't know who to go for, but this is Elias' first singles match too, to say the least. I don't think I don't think he didn't have a match last year. I don't think he had a match at 34. So this is a different situation. I don't know who to go for. I really do not give a shit about this match. I could go for, let's say, I'll go for, um, let's go for Elias, actually. Yeah, let's, let's go for Elias. Let's, let's do that. Next match, it's this one so fucking stupid, too. It's getting worse and worse. We have Aleister Black versus Bobby Lashley. Okay, the build-up to it. What build-up, actually? I don't fucking know. I don't know why why this match was made. Did I don't know how why I, I don't know why this match was made that they got beef with each other. If I'm not paying attention, um, I've just seen the past two weeks Black Alistair Black was just beating jobbers, man. That's all he's done. Bobby Lashley, the last match if I remember, he beat Zack Ryder. I'm not sure what I've seen. I may I may have been blind. I may have not seen. The build up towers by versus Bobby Lashley. I just think this was just so random. It may not be. I mean, I'm not gonna say this may not be a good match, but it was just a random. It was just so random. So, but I think I'm gonna go for Bobby Lashley on this one. I mean, a lot of people. I hate the Lana and Lashley storyline. God, I fucking hate it. But I don't. I don't know. I'm just going for Lashley. Maybe House of Black. Let's do that. Let's go for House of Black, actually. Okay, the next match is the Street Profits versus Austin Theory and Angel Gaza for the Raw Tag Team Titles. So this was another random match out of the blue, but at least it's got the titles on the line. But it should be different opponents for the Street Profits to say the least. But I mean, defending at least they're defending their titles. I mean, that's that's all that matters. Unlike some person, I tried it. I don't know, but 
I don't see the and Austin here, Andrew Garza winning, so the Street Fighters are going to retain their titles. This was an easy one to do. Next match, we have The Miz and John Morrison versus The New Day versus The Usos in a triple threat ladder match for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I think this match is probably going to be good, man. But, yeah, I guess, yeah this match is going to be good. I'm going to go with, I'm still going to, I'm going to go with Miz and John Morrison retain their titles. I mean, I feel like, I mean, I wouldn't be mad if New Day win. I wouldn't be mad if the Usos win. I just feel like somehow the Miz and John Morrison is going to just steal the victory from them, from both of them. I wouldn't say steal, but they're going to, they're just going to pull it off, say. So. Next match we have is Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. I think we know this match was going to be made because they're built up. Ever since um, last November, I think maybe last November or last December, I think this one started. So we knew these match these two were gonna face off one another. Um, I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins winning. I mean, you know, I, I won't be mad Kevin Owens wins, but I'm just going for Seth Rollins. He's, I like his heel gimmick. Always liked him as a heel. Liked him better as a heel than a face. Um, but he he Rollins just works so much better as a heel. I think he does. Trust me, but do a lot of people don't like his heel. This gimmick he has. I mean, I don't care. I mean, he's a heel. I can just chant for heels, Seth Rollins, any day of the week. So I say Seth Rollins is gonna be Kevin Owens. Next match we got is the Undertaker versus AJ Styles in a Bone Yard match. I'm not sure what the Bone Yard match is. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm not rooting for against the Undertaker. I will go for Undertaker to win this match. This match is probably going to be good. I think this match is going to be good. I mean, it's going to have Undertaker's gimmick, and you have Mark, like the Undertaker and Mark, and then Mark Calloway putting the same storyline. I think this, this is this was a kind of a good storyline to build it. I like how I like this Undertaker promo from last row, and I like I like how they were both building this rivalry up a little bit. I like how they were doing it. So. I mean, mostly I gotta get credit to Styles for doing it though too. I gotta, give, I gotta, I gotta get credit to Styles have uh, building this rivalry up a little bit. So, but I'm still, but you cannot root for against the Undertaker, especially when it's at WrestleMania too. You just can't. So I'm gonna go for Undertaker in this match. Next match is a fatal five way match for the SmackDown Women's Title between Bailey, Lacey Evans, Naomi, Sasha Banks. And Tamina. I'm going to say Sasha Banks is going to win the title. Gets to have her WrestleMania moment. Sasha Banks has not won a match at WrestleMania yet. It's weird. I didn't I, I'm very I'm very surprised by that so far. So it's so I think Sasha Banks needs to get her WrestleMania moment as of right now. You know, um Bailey's already had her moment. Naomi's got her moment twice actually. For the SmackDown Women's Title and the Women's Battle Royale, which that match still pisses me off. Fuck you, Naomi. Just kidding. But I didn't like that fucking match. I didn't like the outcome of it. Um, Lacey Evans, like, she could have her moment. So to me, they could both have it. But I think Sasha May kind of deserves it more. I think she's going to turn on her friend Bailey in this match, which will give Sasha Banks the win and win the SmackDown Women's Title and become the second Grand Slam champion. I was like, I heard this next part of this is basically, um, I kind of, um, separated this to, like, two parts a little bit, but I'm gonna put them in, like, one clip. Basically, I kind of stopped a little bit because I had to get ready for work, so you're probably gonna see, um, you're gonna see the rest of it right here. And also, I think WrestleMania already took place, or, like, part, the first part of WrestleMania took part, and I didn't really see any of the results yet. So, do not spoil it in the comments below who won. I want to know who, who won all the matches. Um, I'm probably going to watch them back to back whenever they get done because I don't get probably got time to watch them. So guys, enjoy the rest of my WrestleMania 36 predictions. Next match is the Raw Women's Championship between Becky Lynch and Shayna Baszler. This match, we knew this match was going to happen. Let's be honest here. I think this match will happen since January, basically since almost before the Rumble. But we did not know Shayna was not going to win the Rumble. She was in it, but she didn't win. But she would have a hell of a performance, I'll say that. But, WWE still find a way to put Shayna in a match against Becky Lynch, but we all knew what's going to happen. But I don't know if we knew the outcome of it. But, so, I say Shayna's going to win. Here's the reason. Here's the reason why. 
you're going to hear Ronda Rousey's music hit. Going to distract Becky Lynch. Shayna Baszler gets behind, has her submission hold locked in. Becky Lynch is going to pass out. Shayna Baszler is your new Raw Women's Champion. That's what's going to happen. Becky Lynch is holding that title for a year now, to say the least. So, I mean, might as well lose the title. Might as well. And this starts up the robbery between Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. That sets it up. So, Shayna Baszler is going to become your new Raw Women's Champion. Now, the next match we're going to talk about is the NXT Women's Championship between Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley. Charlotte Flair won the Rumble. And I was like, man... Don't worry, anyone now want to see to go after the Raw or SmackDown Women's title. No. So, what she did, she went after, well, she didn't really, she didn't choose it. She was not going to tell us who she was going after, but Rhea Ripley comes out. And she just challenged Charlotte, I guess. So, Charlotte challenged. She's going after Rhea Ripley for the NXT Women's title. So, here's... A lot of thinking, oh, Charlotte's going to win. Boo, we don't want Charlotte win. No, no, to me, I'm going to say Rhea Ripley's going to win. Like I said, I don't know. Wrestling has already happened. I don't know who's going to win. Do not spoil it for me. But I'll say Rhea Ripley's going to win. I mean, really, because, though, let me say this. you really expect Charlotte going to win the NXT Women's title? No, it's not going to happen. If she happens, if, if she does happen, though, I'm going to say Charlotte's going to vacate it. They're going to have a tournament. For it. So, that's what I can see. The only thing I can see happening. I don't think I see Sorry defending that title or anything. So, I think I can see it. I'm saying Rhea is going to win. I think Rhea is just, she is she's one of the best NXT women superstars we have ever seen, to be honest. You're right beside Shayna Baszler and all the others, though, in the past. All the others we've seen that's in WWE now and anything. But, just Rhea's looking really good as well. So, but I, that's why she's going to retain her title. Next match we're going to be talking about is... The Fiend Bray Wyatt versus John Cena in a Firefly Fun House match. If I'm taking a guess, I'm guessing it's like the House of Horrors match that we've seen at Payback 2017 when Bray Wyatt faced Randy Orton. If I gotta take a guess, maybe that's maybe that's what it is. Maybe it could like that. Maybe here's how I can think of the start of it. John Cena shows up. He knows like, oh, it looks nice and everything, you know. Looks pretty. What are you mostly see? Then it gets black and it looks dark, like what you think the feed thinks, you know. That's how I feel. What's gonna turn into? I'm not 100 percent sure what it look like, but it's gonna be the fiend probably. It would be Bray Wyatt. Like I said, I don't know. I just don't know. Ah, uh, man. This is a tough one, to be honest with you. This is a tough one to pick. Like, for that, the first time I'm looking at it, this is a tough one. I know I said the tough one was between Alex Black and Bobby Lashley. Like I said, I don't give a shit about that match. But this was a tough one to think of. Because I I like John Cena at a standard. Like, I like John Cena at a standard. Okay. The Fiend, this was the fucking best character I've seen since for a while now. I've, been, I'm in, I've enjoyed The Fiend, man. Enjoyed seeing The Fiend. Now, for like competing now, to say the least. Now, if this was for the Universal Championship, if, Bra if The Fiend still had it, fuck you, Gilbert, then I would have root for John Cena to win it. Come a 17 time world champion. But, Fiend doesn't have it. So, it's a tough one to look at. It's a coin toss. So, I actually will go for The Fiend to win this match. I think this could boost up The Fiend's com um, confidence a little bit more. Boost up The Fiend's character. Still like an unbeaten thing. John Cena says, oh, Goldberg has now found a weakness in the feed. What weakness has he found? I, What weakness have we found, really, to be honest with you? I've seen no weakness. I've seen no weakness at all whatsoever. There is no weakness. It was just Goldberg fucking doing what Goldberg does. Now, spear, spear, jackhammer, done. It's the creative team. It's the weakness of the fiend. It's Vince McMahon doing is the fit fiend's weakness. There is no weakness for the fiend. I don't. We have not seen it. They always say that there is no weakness at all. They thought the Daniel Bryan did it. 
Dan Brown was the best one to, to beat the Fiend. But he didn't do it. And then you tell me fucking Goldberg done it? No, that's stupid. Uh, I didn't like it at all. But, so I say, I'm going to say the Fiend's going to beat John Cena. I think this is going to be the best, the biggest win for the Fiend. Now, I'm not going to say the best win for Bray Wyatt. Because, like I said, they're separate for the Fiend. Best wins against John Cena. Now, pretty much in the original of this match, the Universal Championship match between Goldberg versus Roman Reigns, but Roman Reigns could not compete in this match because of the situation he had um, with leukemia before. Because, like, if he had affected with coronavirus, that could really have a, good, a big risk for him, to be honest with you, if you would have caught it. Um, so, he had a replacement against Braun Strowman. Now, I knew this was going to happen, to be honest with you. Like, I thought, I knew this was going to happen. So, the easiest option for me to say, I mean, obviously, I'm picking Strowman. Because, here's the thing with this. If Roman Reigns was not going to be out, I could have actually went with Roman Reigns winning. I mean, we were not going to see Goldberg retain the title. I think this is, this was just Goldberg uh, just putting people over. That's all he is. You know, and next, you know, we're going to see him come back. It's like, I didn't get my rematch, blah, blah, blah. Man, fuck you, Goldberg. You don't need a rematch because there's been no rematch clauses at all. You didn't deserve it. Okay? He did not deserve it. That's why I picked Braun Strowman to win this match. He becomes the new Universal Champion, finally gets another championship title around his waist. In the final match for WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. Now, we knew this match was going to happen. We not think we knew it might happen. We not feel like we knew McIntyre was going to win the Rumble and go after Lesnar. And I think we knew Drew McIntyre will become WWE Champion. And you know what? That is true, because I picked McIntyre beating the Beast, Brock Lesnar. And let me tell you this, that is not a fact. That is a spoiler. See what I did there? You know, I called it Paul Heyman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> but I still say McIntyre is going to win, because McIntyre has, has been overdue with the WWE title shot. Okay. Like, ever since he come back to WWE, I think we knew he was going to become WWE Champion. And we we wanted to become WWE Champion. Or Universal Champion now. So, I think this, this was now, this after winning that Rumble, this was probably been his, I think, his only opportunity to win it. So, why not? So, McIntyre becomes your new WWE Champion. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. What did you think about predictions? Did I have your favorite series winning or not? Let me know which predictions down in the comments below. Leave a like in this video and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, I will be uploading more WrestleMania 36, 36 videos when I ever get the chance. I am sorry, guys, that I had not been learning throughout this week that I thought I was going to, but I've just been really, really busy. So hopefully I can do it through this next week and we'll see. So, guys, also, I hope you guys are just are being safe out there during this time. Like I said, just be patient with it, man. It'll be all over soon. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.